Welcome to Fun with Julian Engineering. If you look at that beautiful planet Earth from space in the midst of the endless darkness, you may think it is all so cold and dark. But if you get more closer to our planet and examine it, you realize that we are actually living on a hot planet. The inner core consists of liquid matter at temperatures of about 4,000 degrees Celsius. If we move from the surface of the Earth into the direction of its center, we only have to travel half a percent of the distance to face temperatures of about 1,000 degrees centigrade. This is the temperature at which silver will melt. So if we are sitting on the surface of such a hot planet, should it not be possible to just drill holes in the ground and use the heat for geothermal energy? Actually, for every 100 meters removed from the surface into the earth, it gets about 3 degrees warmer. So at a depth of 3 kilometers, we should therefore find a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius which in principle should be enough to produce boiling water. So geothermal energy deals with getting this heat out of the earth. But this is by far not as easy as we think. For example, at a depth of three or more kilometers, the rock is pretty compact and you rarely find pores and fracks with free moving water. This is a given fact and there's nothing we can do about the geology. This is the first reason why we cannot build geothermal power plants just anywhere. But if we assume that there was free moving hot water in the target depth, then there is a second challenge. In our power plant at the surface, we can only use the heat which we withdraw from the water. However, we have to consider that technical processes require certain temperatures. For example, a district heating system. If the water has a temperature of less than 60 or 70 degrees centigrade, the customers will not be able to heat the houses properly and will complain. So if our borehole produces hot water at a temperature of 100 centigrade, we can only let it cool down in our geothermal power plant to about 70 centigrade. After that, the heat content of the water is no longer technically usable. This means we can only use the heat if we cool the water down by 30 degrees, and that is uh, not a lot. You can easily calculate. We can only get about 125 kilojoules of energy out of each kilogram of water if we cool it down from 100 to 70 centigrade. Drilling for natural oil is much more effective. We can burn the oil at the surface, for example, as a fuel cal engine, and each kilogram of fuel releases an energy of about 41,000 kilojoules. This means we get 330 times more energy from each kilogram of produced oil compared to the energy we get from each kilogram of produced water. So, if we want to make a geothermal well as profitable as an oil well, the geothermal well needs to produce about 330 times more water compared to the production rate of the oil. Instead of few cubic meters of oil per day, our geothermal well will have to produce many cubic meters per minute in order to be able to pay off like an oil well. The consequence is that geothermal wells require particularly large diameters, so we have to drill large diameter holes case them with large diameter casings to stabilize the borehole. These casings are large, heavy, and we will therefore need very big, expensive drilling rig to run such operations. All this makes drilling of geothermal wells much more expensive than oil wells. But there is even more to consider. For the production of oil, we only need one deep borehole. From this deep borehole, we can produce the oil at a moderate rate, and everybody is happy. The rock in the reservoir does not really care. But in the geothermal power plant, we need to produce huge amounts of water from the well. Of course, it is important to also reject the cool water back into the reservoir so that the hydraulic balance in the formation is not disturbed. This means we require at least two deep boreholes instead of one. One production well for the hot water, and the second one for the injection of cold water. This makes the drilling cost of a geothermal drilling project very, very big. If we look at the typical geothermal power plant cost, we see that the cost of two boreholes is by far the largest part of the investment. In most cases, the high investment cost leads to a situation that geothermal power plants simply do not pay off. This is the reason why there are few geothermal power plants in Germany. We in Freiburg are researching to reducing this massive drilling cost for geothermal wells. And there are very promising approaches and developments coming up. So if you would like to know more about these topics, 
just come to our lecture in geothermal energy generation. We will be delighted to have you here. Glugoff.